a burst of burning debris from the ceiling fell and landed on my hands. And I shook my hands and I got up out of my chair and I, and I started to look around. Yeah, command, we're getting reports of people trapped. And at that point, I just really believed that my life was gonna end at that point. And I cried out to Jesus and I asked him to, to, to just Jesus to just help me, help me get out of this. And no sooner I spoke those words, it was a silhouette of, of a figure moving. So I reached out through the smoke and there was a hand reaching back and it grabbed me and it pulled me and tried to help me. She explained how she prayed to come out and I told her how I prayed to go in. Dear Lord, give me the strength to save this woman's life. And we answer each other's prayers. God is just an awesome wonder. And it's still to this day and will forever be um, a miracle to me that I am still alive. Dude, how are you? You look great. Yeah, a little yoga, <laughs> Pilates, you know. Are you silly? <laughs> I always uh, tell Sheila that, you know, we're friends in Christ since that moment. When I sit back and I reflect that someone actually tried to murder me, I could be very bitter about that. Because a lot of these are, you know, family mm -hmm. members. But I have grandchildren, and I don't want them growing up with hatred. You know, I don't want them saying, oh, well, this group of people tried to kill my grandmother, so I don't like them. That is not what forgiveness looks like.